you have to be evil on a level that I cannot even comprehend to look at what happened in Nashville. Three dead children, three dead teachers, and a dead monster Mm -hmm. who took all of their lives. For no reason. And somehow write this headline. Fear pervades Tennessee's trans community amid focus on the Nashville shooter's gender identity. And isn't Madonna, like, donating money Mm -hmm. to Alphabet Mafia families in the area as opposed to, I don't know, the families of the people who were murdered senselessly by a mentally ill individual? Yeah. I mean, first of all, Madonna is, she's a goddamn Fruit Loop. A little bit. You can look at her face and see that this woman is... She just wants to stay young forever, which no one can do. <laughs> yeah, that's and not quite really frankly, well. she looks like a goddamn muppet right now. She she does. Yeah, S- somebody decided to do a, a compare and contrast. Like if you would have told me twenty years ago that one day Roseanne Barr would look better than Madonna, I would have said you were nuts. Well, apparently it's nuts on your chin because here we are. <laughs> <laughs> nuts wow. on your chin. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but before we get uh, deep into the subject of today, which is we're going to have to be doing a lot of tiptoeing through the tulips uh, on this particular yeah. one, uh, we did have somebody who wanted to address uh, our thoughts on the shoes. Anybody who watched on Tuesday know that we dove into the uh, the shoes idea a bit because they look like two different pairs of shoes between the different cameras. Yes, they do. Now, now uh, uh, hang on. And there were some valid points brought up. Now, hang on, Blake. All right, so... I looked at those two images. I am not a video tech guy. Yeah. All right. But the incident happened within 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's not a lot of time for uh, the light conditions to change. No. Especially inside. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, it's the the difference of an enclosed hallway with no windows Mm -hmm. versus a body lying half in the sunlight and half in the shade. Well, my thing is, though, is when she was standing underneath the fluorescent lights. Yeah, the consistent light. That is, one, it's consistent, and it was relatively bright. Yes. And you still don't see any color on the shoes. Yeah, that is the one thing. Now, I actually decided to go the full Monty when I was, you know, because what was addressed here specifically, and this Mm -hmm. comes from Seriously Podcast, um, the four specific factors, lighting, which we discussed, Mm -hmm. video compression. Now, for those of you who don't know how video is compressed, it's not like when you run film in front of a camera where you have a full, complete frame. In order to compress it and keep it a smaller size, the camera actually has to interpret the motion. Mm -hmm. So it's not an exact representation of what was being filmed. Well, I know. Which can cause some issues with color. Well, I mean, in today's day and age, every picture you take... There's a whole ass load of math behind it. So exactly, yeah. This it'll is, print everything out. Yeah, it's it's ones and zeros yeah. that look like a visual representation of the real world to us, but that's not really what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, video sensors, yes, they're, they're always going to be different. Uh, the cameras that are on us right now, they are full frame 35 millimeter. Mm-hmm. Um, there are APS-C cameras, which are super 35 millimeter. They're, they're about 1.5 35 T- uh, times smaller, I guess so, than than these. Mm-hmm. That that's the crop factor that I'm thinking of, and then of course you've got the stuff that goes in like button cams, which are really teeny, um, probably even smaller than what's in your phone. Mm-hmm. You're going to get different color results with everything. What blew my mind, and this is why I decided to run this through. It's called Topaz Video Enhance AI. Um, just to let you know, like David Lynch recently used this exact program to upscale a movie that he shot in the early 2000s on mini DV called Inland Empire in order to release it on Blu-ray. So this is not some chintzy wincy program that I'm running shit through. This costs money and people, you know, like good directors actually use it. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look here. So I blew this all up and we are kind of cropped in here so I can move it around a little bit. All right. See, now the reason why, and you can see this in the, in the frame here, the reason why I was so confused about why we couldn't see any color on the shoes is because you can see the blue on the tape here mm-hmm. and the red in her hat. Which never changes. Which never changes, even as it moves. It's like you can keep your eye on that blue tape. 
It doesn't change, but there's no color information on those shoes. None. None. And didn't you blow it up to 4K? Yeah, this is this is in 4K. Now, if I shrink this down a little bit, you can actually see down here in the corner, this is what perplexed me. On the printer? Yeah, it's right here next to the printer is a drawing that's on top of a trash can, mm -hmm. and it's rendered in several different colors. muted colors that you can clearly pick out. There's red, blue, there's yellow right there. So you've already got two colors right there that you should be able to see some representation of on these shoes. And we're not. And I'm not seeing it. We're not seeing it. Now, does that mean they're not the same shoes? No. We're not saying that. We were just bringing it to your attention because it seems a little weird. It's a discrepancy. Because I don't know what the shoes are made of. Like the, the material that actually makes up that little fire graphic, it could be made out of that iridescent reflective material that they use for safety vests. If it is, and then she's in a bright hallway, it's going to reflect back white. Okay. And it is what it is. It is? What, but I don't know. It, when you blow up to 4K, you should get some other colors. Off. You should get something. The fact that we're getting nothing is just strange. Uh -huh. But that's either here nor there. There was another guy on Twitter... He said, uh, his post here, this comes from Carpe Donctum. They're the same shoes, same stripe, he says. You can watch the shoes go from looking black to showing the flames as soon as the camera autofocuses. Cameras lose detail on things they're not focused on, especially color. Please don't be a moron. I should talk like Trip. Please don't be a moron and play internet detective unless you actually know what you're talking about, folks. All right. And the, so this is a video Blake, here. Blake, the producer, you've been doing video for 17 years. 17 years. Professionally. Yeah. So this is slowed down here. You can actually see how the shoe looks black. Oh, sorry about that. And then it says, as it comes into focus. See, so now then you can see the colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a talk about focus. Okay. Uh, Button cams, body cams, don't focus. They do, however, auto-expose. Okay. All right? Because focus has nothing to do with color rendering, and we're going to have a little experiment right now. Okay. I'm going to put the camera on pop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, make sure that I get the auto-focus here. I'm going to turn you on to manual focus. All right. Okay. Pops out of focus. Can you still tell what color he is? What color the blue light is around him? The red stripes on the flag? I can see everything. Mm -hmm. Now, auto exposure, on the other hand. All right, tell me what color the Pringles can is. It's, it's uh, black. <laughs> exactly. So, just a, a note to the person who decided to put that together. Yes, you are on some level correct. However, if you're going to call other people idiots and internet detectives, know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. I'm just saying. <laughs> I couldn't have done any better. Well, I mean, it's, uh, he says right here, don't be an internet detective unless you actually know what you're talking about. Take your own advice. <laughs> Where's that thread on? It's on Twitter. Yeah, because I'm not saying you're 100% wrong, but you're 100% wrong. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, that oh. is the last we're going to talk about the shoes. <laughs> Listen. Oh, it, I totally should have made it. It just got dark in here reference. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I uh, fucked uh, up. I missed the opportunity, and now it's gone forever. Uh, just boy. like Audrey Hale. Where? <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.